Hello friends, today I'm going to talk to you about CLVR, Clever Leaves Holding Ink. I've been following this stock for a long time. You see that it has been, for a, that for a moment that it has been a spec, it's been uh, around, around uh, 10 when, when it began as a spec. It goes uh, high to let me see to 11 to 14 uh, just to, uh, just let's go here one month you see the highest go uh, was 14 and then it came down came down came down came down here and so many people was really scared what is going to happen with this one why is going down as it has been down in several days you see there are so many controversies about this cannabis stock first of all you have to know what you have you have done your due diligence you have found that it's a really good company they have they have uh, production factory production field in um, Colombia and in Portugal. That is the only company, cannabis company, international cannabis company, which has more more size for production. And you know that it has been very successful. It is a very really small company. And then you may ask yourself why the price has gone down. You see, there are so many, as I said, there are converse, uh, uh, converse there are so many problems with this uh, cannabis uh, stuff. So uh, the best things actually is that um, know that it's a good company. And one of the reasons that maybe it is, that, that's why it has been uh, going down is because of this, this Senator uh, Tom Dashley, Dashley that uh, has some yeah, point of view about it. And he says here, I was into all uh, that mindset for many years. I experienced the 60s, 70s, and so the downside of drugs, okay? And what he wants to do, he wants to have it done on the uh, category A, uh, category one. During his uh, tenure as a public servant, he preferred keeping marijuana in the DEA's schedule one category, alongside drugs that aren't uh, considered safe to use even under medical supervision but you know that is his idea and I think there are so many people are afraid only because of this and they are going to sell their stocks but if you go even if you go further in this uh, article I put the link there and you can uh, read it yourself it says here actually uh, Yes, I don't think there was any one moment where I just click or click that the heart, okay. Yeah, there was some, and they changed the heart, and the, he, he, in, he, uh, he uh, in his, this article, he says that the, the, the benefits of medical marijuana, and he has already mentioned that one. One of the things that I have taken a great interest in over all of my professional life are veterans. And I served on the House and Senate Veterans Affairs committees, uh, committees for 26 years, he says. So I took a real interest in PTSD and came to appreciate the potential of cannabis as we look to the medical advantages and opportunities that it may provide for not only PTSD pa 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 uh, patients but other as well so he just says why it is a good thing really to have it as uh, as medical marijuana and also there are some other point which is really interesting to have a uh, uh, read about it it says here uh, when I was reading it it was uh, really strange that even he says that it's a good company that we are we have uh, uh, invested in okay I'm sure the clever footprint is in the United States will grow he says here uh, it says that it's so much easier to run successful cannabis business illegally in Colombia 
then it is in the United States, okay, that is one of his, their uh, uh, production places in Colombia. Uh, that will change, and it does. Uh, I'm sure Clever Leaf's footprint in the United States will grow dramatically, he says. But also, I think Colombia has a great economy. Uh, I've been there, yeah, it says that he's been there several uh, times, and he says he finds it a really nice place to be. Uh, and it's, it's okay, okay, and there is some uh, okay. So, and there is there is some point in this. Uh, I cannot find it at this moment, but you see that uh, he ha he also mentioned that it's a very good company with with a solid basis, but it is new. So there are ups and downs. So. I would, uh, that is my opinion, that I'm going to keep my, uh, my shares of this, uh, this company. And even something more interesting is if you go to the price of the, uh, the warrant, you see 21% gone down. So if you have this one, if you buy it, it's really cheap because if you buy it now, you have um, you have uh, until I think uh, five years, five to through to, to, to five years, and you can keep it, and they, they can not ask you to uh, to redeem your your uh, shares before it goes to eighteen. So this is a, a strategy you can use. It is a buy this. Uh, you can buy these uh, warrants, and it would be a really good value because when the shares goes one percent or five percent uh, higher, the warrant go maybe ten to fifteen percent higher. So this is a very good option in order to buy this uh, this warrant. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up uh, i would really like to grow this channel and i need your help to do that okay we can do it and uh, please make sure that uh, if you have done your due diligence you know that is a good company so you don't be t you don't have to be afraid because at my one moment is going to go up and some people actually talking of manipulation of prices because they know how good it is this is a very solid company very good and solid company and so many people have admitted to it so keep tight and don't be loose-handed to get rid of your uh, shares so easily okay thank you for your attention thumbs up subscribe and i see you in the next video